The names of Allah al-Awwal, al-Akhir, al-Zahir, wal-Batin are grouped together and mentioned once in the Quran, in Surah Al-Hadid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرُ وَالْظَاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ He is the first and the last, the most high, and the most near, and he is the all-knower of everything. The meanings of these four names revolve around Allah's encompassment of his creation in time and place. Allah is al-awwal, he is the first, and precedes everything in being first. وهو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام وكان عرشه على الماء And it is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days and his throne had been upon water. And he is also الآخر, the last, and he remains after everything. كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام Whatsoever is on the earth will perish and the face of your Lord full of majesty and honor will remain forever. Therefore, there is nothing that is first except Allah comes before it, and there is nothing that is last except that Allah comes after it. And this is his encompassment by time. When a person knows Allah is al awwal he will single him out with humility and turn to him alone. He will free himself from attachment to the means because Allah's grace precedes all means. The concept of being first is very appealing to humans. So he is the one who should be our first priority, the first we think of, the first we turn to. Allah's rights are before anyone else's rights. When we make Allah first in our life, then all the next steps we take will be in place. Allah al-Akhir is the last and there is nothing after him. So he is the one remaining while everything else that exists has an end. The one who knows Allah al-Akhir will make him his utmost goal because to him belongs the end of all matters. He will not place his trust in the means since he knows the means will end, whilst Allah will remain. He will attach himself to the one ever living who never dies. We need this name in our lives because we have many matters which we have not yet resolved. Sometimes we find a problem is always re reappearing. Why? because we did not return to the one who will settle, judge, and conclude the matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ يَعْلَمُ مَا يَلِجُ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا وَمَا يَنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَمَا يَعْرَجُ فِيهَا وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ It is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then rose above the throne. He knows what penetrates into the earth and what emerges from it and what descends from the heavens and what ascends therein. And he is with you wherever you are. And Allah of what you do is seeing. Allah al-Zahir is the one most apparent and visible, though we cannot see him. And he is the most high above the seven heavens. He rose over the throne in a manner that suits his majesty. Nothing can be above him. He encompasses everything apparent and hidden. There is nothing high and apparent except Allah is higher. And there is nothing hidden except Allah is closer to it by his knowledge, his seeing, his hearing. And this is his encompassment in place. The name of Allah al-Zahir erases all doubts because Allah makes everything clear and apparent. He will make things appear for a purpose to show the truth and to grant victory and support. He will always make his religion and the truth the most apparent, even if people try to put it out. He will make apparent who are the truthful ones and who are the liars. Allah is al batin the one who encompasses all things by being closer to them than they are to themselves. This indicates his perfect watchfulness over what is secret and hidden. He knows the smallest details of the most concealed matters. His highness does not contradict his nearness. Rather, what is hidden is apparent to him, and what is unseen is seen to him, and what is far is near to him, and what is secret is open to him. The one who knows that Allah is so close to him, he will purify his soul, rectify his hidden inner state, 
and fortify his heart with faith. And when a person knows Allah by these great names and what they indicate of perfection, greatness, and encompassment, it is obligatory for him to deal each name with what it necessitates of humility and servitude towards his Lord. These names also dispel the whispers of shaitan, which he casts into the heart of the human in order to destroy him and divert him from faith. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, used to order that when one of us went to sleep, he should say, Allahumma rabba samawati wa rabba al-ard wa rabba al-arsh al-azim rabbana wa rabba kulli shay'in faliq al-habbi wa nawa wa munazhil al-tawrati wa al-injil wa al-furqan a'udhu bika min sharri kulli shay'in anta akhidhun binasiyatihi Allahumma anta al-awwalu falaysa qablaka shay' wa anta al-akhiru falaysa ba'daka shay' wa anta al-zahiru falaysa fawqaka shay' wa anta al-batinu falaysa dunaka shay' اِقْضِ عَنَّ الدَّيْنَ وَأَغْنِنَا مِنَ الْفَقْرِ O Allah, Lord of the heavens and Lord of the earths, and our Lord, and the Lord of everything, splitter of the seen grain and date stone, and revealer of the Torah and the Injil and the Qur'an, I seek refuge in you from the evil of every evil that you are holding by the forelock. You are the first, there is nothing before you. You are the last, there is nothing after you. You are the apparent, there is nothing above you. And you are the hidden, there is nothing below you. Relieve me of my debt and enrich me from poverty.